So the phase three optic study was designed to test whether a drug tepratumumab, which blocks the IGF-1 receptor, can actually then diminish the signs of thyroid eye disease, namely proptosis, double vision, quali improving quality of life. And what the study was designed to do was to take a placebo arm and a treatment arm subject them to eight infusions of tepratumumab, which blocks the IGF-1 receptor, and then measure whether that had an effect upon proptosis, strabismus, quality of life. And what we found was a dramatic improvement of proptosis or reduction of proptosis, reversal of this disease process. And what we've uh, found is that this was diminished by approximately three millimeters, which is rather equivalent to what would be considered for an average orbital decompression. In addition, we found a substantial improvement in the double vision of these patients, which continued to improve over the course of the study. Moreover, the quality of life was also improved dramatically, both in their visual function and in their facial appearance. Overall, implying that tepratumumab really does appear to be a pivotal drug in the potential in the use for thyroid eye disease. I personally think that this will be a landmark step in the treatment of thyroid eye disease. I think that there will be a time when we thought of treating this disease before the introduction of tepratumumab and a time after because this really does apply to a large majority of the patients who get thyroid eye disease and are subjected to this really horrible disease process. And it reverses each aspect of the disease and so it really adds up to a dramatic improvement in patients' quality of life.